Welcome back to Forex Pros. Today we will be discussing multiple pairs in the market starting from gold, then Australian dollar, and then GBP JPY, and finally Euro USD. So, first of all, do subscribe, like, and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our educational analysis in the upcoming time. So, starting from gold, from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that that market was stuck in this zone from 2074 to 1680 for almost three years. Now we have a tail outside the zone, not a complete body, only a tail. So as you can see, currently the market made a move and now we are expecting an correction, impulse and correction. So when we have an impulse and correction, what do we do? We take the Fibonacci retracement tool and we measure the retracement. And as you can see, the currently the market is testing the 0.382 level. So on the monthly time frame, also you can see that if you take the 0.382 level and 0.5 level, 50% retracement, it aligns well with this previous structure, which is now sub, uh, support area, which was previously the resistance area. So on from the monthly perspective, what we can see is that we can expect the market to make a retracement towards the upside. This is a very important structure resistance because you can see the price action on the markets whenever reached this area, it made a huge move towards the downside. And now it's again approaching it, but not as a resistance, as a support. So from the monthly time frame, we can expect the market to make a move towards the upside. Okay, so moving down on the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, the things are much more interesting because as you can see that, yes, the market is basically making a triangle. And as you can see that the area of the triangle is being, it's being pushed towards it. So the market is moving within this triangle and we can expect the market to either make a move towards the upside or down, downside. So from the weekly time frame, we do not have a clear picture, but based on the monthly time frame, we what we can expect is that market might break towards the upside. Moving down towards the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, what we can see is that this is a very important structure area. So as you can see that the market has been range bound in between this area and made a fake breakout towards the upside. So from the daily perspective, what we can expect, we can expect the market might go up to 2030. And from that point, we can expect that the market might come all the way to the downside. But important thing to consider is that today's CPI news is coming. So based on the CPI, there is a possibility that the market might break, break towards the upside and then not that much high, approximately up to 2039 or 2040 and then provide us a retracement from where we can start taking the buy trades. So this was a long term analysis for the short term. If you're expecting to trade today, what should, what should you do? Okay. So my plan is that from the 2030 area, I will start taking the sell trades with my stop loss being something around 2040. So if the, if my, uh, if my analysis goes right, my prediction goes right, and the market makes a retracement from this point, I will my, my take profit, my TP will be 2012. So it's basically a 100 pips stop loss and approximately 180 pips TP. So it's a good uh, re, uh, uh, loss ratio profit rate. So this is what you can do. Secondly, another thing which you need to consider is that market currently made a W pattern. So if, for example, you take a trade from 2030 and you see that the market came down and was rejected from 2021 at this area, you need to get out of the trade because if the market re uh, respects this area, then it might go all the way towards the upside. So at least from 2030, you will have the 100 pips, which is like 60 to 70 percent confirmed. The rest, the next 100, either you will get or you'll have to wait. Okay, so this was gold. Now let's go to Australian dollar or USD. So on the Australian dollar, we have a very interesting and very 
fun scenario. Why? Because as you can see, the market is approaching a very important structure support area. As you can see, market made a huge move towards the upside from this point. And again, we can expect the market to make a move. Secondly, one thing you should consider is that this is the first shoulder, this is the second shoulder, and this is a head. So basically, it's making an inverse head and shoulder from where we can expect the market to go towards the upside on the monthly time frame. Another thing, as you can see that this is also a USD pair and gold is also a USD pair. So on the monthly time frame, the both are like aligning to go in the upward direction. Moving down on the weekly time frame, again, as you can see is that the market is at a very historical area. And another thing you need to consider market has made a W pattern and after making the W pattern, it's a rejection. It's a retest of the bottom neckline. So we can expect the market to move towards the upside even on the weekly time frame. On the daily time frame, there is a scenario where if the market moves towards the upside, like we discussed, this will be the area where we can expect the market to go towards the upside. If the market goes towards the upside, then as you can see that the market will be making a W pattern and after the W pattern, we expect the market to make a retracement to the bottom neckline. So for a few days, the odd UST will be on the sell trend. This was a long term analysis. Now coming down on the shorter time frame and see what should we do. Okay. On currently on the Australian dollar, as you can see on the four hour time frame, market made a market made a move. Uh, sorry, market made a move was range bound, then make a move again down. So on the four hour time frame, currently what we can expect is that if the market breaks below this zone, so this is a good area. This is an area from which the market has shown rejections multiple times, either from this area or this area. So overall, this whole area is a rejection area. So as soon as like, uh, for example, what you can do right now is that you could wait either to market to make a complete head and shoulder pattern before coming down. And if the market does not do that, market comes in straight towards the downside, you can place a buy trade and earn some good profits again, but you need to consider that CPI news is coming. So what hap whatever the data comes, you could you should act accordingly. Like for example, if the CPI data comes positive for dollar, we might see a move towards the downside, but I'm expecting the data to come to ne come negative, but do not place trades on the base of my expectations. So what will happen if the data comes negative market will go towards the upside up to 0 0.65278 from that area. If you see that the market is not moving towards the upside because CPI can be unexpected and uh, market could start moving all the way towards the upside. But if the data comes negative for dollar or US, you might go up and then you might see a rejection to cover coming all the way down. So this could be a good entry point, but enter after the CPI, not before it. Okay. Now coming to the GBP JPY pair. Yes. On the GBP JPY pair, if you go on the monthly time frame, the things are very interesting. As you can see, the market was moving, making impulse correction, impulse correction, and again now and after an impulse, we are seeing some correction. And whenever we want to measure an impulse and correction, we take the Fibonacci from the low to the high. And what we can expect is that market hardly retested the 0 0.382 level and started moving moving towards the upside it means that the buyers are in control of the market so at currently at this point we can we could expect that the market might go even the in the upward direction moving down on the weekly time frame what we can see is that this is a structure resistance area and as you can see when last time the market approached this area it made all the move towards the downside again Right now, the market, what we can see is that moving towards the upside, but we can expect that the market might go a bit higher than come down. Moving down on the daily time frame. Yes. Here we get a better picture of that market has basically made this W pattern. And after that, making small impulses, uh, small corrections, moving all the way towards the upside. So basically this is the area which where the market was range bound and now the market is moving in the upward direction. So what we can expect is that market might go a bit, bit higher, break the zone. And from this area, 
we might see a rejection all the way towards the downside to basically retest the uh, uh, make the w pattern complete on the daily time frame so overall again this was a long term analysis in the next few hours what will happen we'll discuss that okay so on the 4 hour time frame one second on the 4 hour time frame what we can see is that again same scenario market is moving in the upward direction now placing a trade of buy while the market is already moving so much higher is not something i would recommend so on the gbp gpy pair wait wait for the market to like reach a point where the market before coming down it will give a complete indication i know you must have some set of rules for entry points so when you get that indication what you can do you can sell the market at least up to this point as our first tp and for the second tp if the market has good pressure and you see the market has broken below that zone you can go even up to sorry from the weekly time frame let me mark that area so that you get a better point of the tp on the weekly time frame this should be the tp okay so we can expect the market to come all the way downwards so from as the gbp gpy market is moving consistently towards the upside and we are expecting some more movement if whenever you find an indication that the market might now, might now come down before the indication do not enter you can start taking the sell trades so this is one of the possibilities on gbp gpy it does not have a clear picture of what the market will do like the uh, odd usd and every other pair but one thing you need to consider is that like on the weekly time frame as you can see when the market is moving and market makes such a move overall like uh, you can see that uh, it's basically type of a uh, uh, i forgot the name when the market goes up it makes small moves towards the upside and then starts falling so this is on the weekly time frame we can expect that the market might start uh, making a huge move towards the downside as you can see that the market is making currently higher highs and higher lows so as soon as the market does not make a higher high that's the first indication that the market will come down so last but not least we can expect we can see, we'll see on the euro usd pair and see what kind of trading opportunities do we have again on the euro usd what you can see is that yes on the euro usd what you can see is that on the monthly time frame inverse head and shoulder pattern and the market is currently approaching that area so same what i told on the told on the australian usd dollar we can expect the market to come down and then make a rejection towards the upside moving down on the weekly time frame again you can see that this was a w pattern and after the retest and market is still coming down to test this zone and then at this point we can expect the market to get a good rejection so on the daily time frame the things are very good and very interesting because on euro usd we have a good trade right now why because as you can see market made an impulse towards the downside and then a correction and if you want to measure the impulse and correction what do we do we take the fibonacci fibonacci from top to the bottom and as you can see the market retested approximately retested the 0.5 area as which means that the sellers are still in control of the market so you can start selling at least up to this point because whenever the market makes a move like this where you can see the market is making small candles towards the upside and then comes down it means that the market will come down at least up to this point and even go a little bit lower so if you take the trade right now based on the 4 hour time frame what you need to do you will be waiting for the market to break this area and as soon as the market breaks this area you can start selling with approximate with uh, proper caution because it might this might be a fake breakout as you know cpi is coming and the market might go all the way towards the upside so if that happens cpi data comes and you see that the market is making an upward move but not that much strong you can start selling and you can get some good profits in your usd pair so if you liked our analysis and if you want analysis on different pairs as well you can tell me in the comment section which pair which uh, analysis <clears throat> of which pair you want the analysis 
so i will make a video for that as well and i hope that you learned from my video as well that analyzing the market is not that much difficult the main difficult part is controlling your psychology controlling your emotions like for example as you can see we are we are having a clear direction of the market going sell so what will happen we will place a sell trades and market will get a rejection make a small move towards the upside like 50 40 points and you'll be like oh my god i made the wrong trade and you will get out of the trade and as soon as you get out, the market will start coming downwards and you will like, I need to sell again. You will sell again and again, the market will go towards the upside because it, the market moves against human psychology. So whatever your heart tells you to do, do the opposite of that, but following technically, fundamentally and sentimentally. So thank you.